All right, guys, today we're doing a carburetor and a Poulon Pro PP4018 chainsaw. 40cc. Uh, first thing we're going to do is take out the uh, three, they're either T25 or a flathead screw, screwdrivers. Or screwdriver screws, whatever. All right, eight millimeter, take these two nuts off. T25 screw, take that out. Pull this out and lay it off to the side. You ain't got to take the wires out or nothing. Just lay it off to the side out of your way. Um, choke arm comes right out. Sit down with the rest of the stuff. Um, pull the throttle and then push the arm out that way. Put it off to the side. Carburetor slides right out. No problem. And leave the gasket right on. So this needs new fuel lines and everything. It's a uh, big crumble pile in the bottom. Alright, so we're going to clean all this out, drain the tank, get all the fuel line parts cleaned out. Now normally I would try to uh, just change out the fuel lines, but this guy has been into this one, no matter what he says. I mean, this thing's pulled off. whole idle screw is still laying in the bottom there. It's supposed to be right here. So he's been in this messing with this, trying to do stuff, and all he did was mess stuff up. So the carburetor's junk now because it can't open all the throttles wide open. So I got a brand new one. Comes in a kit. It's got all your fuel lines, spark plug, gaskets, uh, fuel filters, carburetor, air filters. It's got everything you could possibly need. All right, we're going to get this idle screw out and start up. First, we got to get this primer ball out. Take the uh, it's uh, four T25 screws or flathead screws. There's four of them. Got to get all of them out. Get the recoil off. And the primer ball just clicks in. You can grab it with a pair of pliers and just rip it out. It's old and junk. So it just clips in like that. So you just yank it out. All right. Now we're gonna run the fuel lines. Um, the thinner fuel line is your return line. Um, so there's two different sizes. Um, so we're going to cut this end to a point. So a thin one is the return line. Bring it after you get it into the tank like that. See it in there. Bring it through here. Cut off the access right there. That'll go to the long nipple on your primer ball. So cut the bigger line into a point. And then there's a hole back here. We're going to go we go right in that hole back here. Grab it with needle nose pliers and pull it all the way out of the gas tank. Cut the point off of it. Put a brand new fuel line in it. Filter, brand new fuel filter. Then you're going to pull back on this line until this sits on the bottom of the tank about the midpoint. something like that so this line is the filter line it will go to the bottom nipple or the nipple closest to the fuel pump the one with the single bolt is the fuel pump in that nipple this one with the four bolts is the diaphragm and that's the uh, the side that goes to the primer ball so we're gonna cut this down the fuel line basically down where it'll reach get that out of the way. where it'll reach that nipple is going to cut it to length and then put the fuel line on the nipple just like that and then this one is going to go to the suction side of the primer ball so basically you're pulling fuel through the carburetor into the primer ball and then back into the gas tank so it'll go on the short nipple from there to the short nipple just like that. Now a top, a long nipple on the top. We're going to push this right into this hole. It'll actually click right into place. Just like that. Alright. Now we're going to put the choke arm back on this. Just going to wiggle it into place. I need two hands to do this job. Throttle arm will go right back in here like this 
and then you'll pull the throttle up and you push this forward and slide it right in like that it's perfect all right now we're going to put the air filter assembly back on this red arm will fit right over your choke arm this will go right back there and then you put your two eight millimeter nuts back on then we'll go ahead and we'll put the recoil back on for the four bolts to hold that in place uh, you got all them in there shouldn't be any extra screws if there is put it where it belongs <laughs> even I forget some stuff but I look at the table and find parts and put them where they go air filter air filter cover make sure your brake is still on so that the cover will fit in put the cover on tighten it down gas in it gas cap prime it up you're ready to go all right guys i hope this helped you again as like i said all the parts will be in the description below uh, today's t-shirt will also be in the description below uh, if you uh, uh, want me to wear one of your business shirts for a bunch of videos, go ahead and mail me them. I'll be happy to wear it for a bunch of videos for you. Peace.